Every time I burp, I want to taste these crab sticks. Oh, powder in my ear. Hello, so for today's video, we're going to be doing this nice blue smoky eye, I guess. I don't think I ever really use blue on my channel. Actually, I think I've done one look with blue. And yeah, I just want to explore blue more because blue is my favourite colour, even though I have lots of pink around me. Blue is my favourite. So, let's jump into it. So, eyebrows are already done because it's boring. No one wants to see it. So, we're going to move on to just highlight the brow bone. So, I'm going to take the By Katie Highlighter. So, this is the Pressed Shimmer Powder in M Moolah, I think. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take that on a crown brush C510. This reminds me very much of the Becca highlighter in a champagne pop. Now to prime the eyelids, I'm going to take the Revolution Prime and Lock Longwear Eyeshadow Primer. So this is in just, I think this is only one shade. Uh, there's not much pigment to it anyway. And then I'm just going to blend that out with a brush. Okay, so for today's palette, we're going to take the Be Perfect um, Stacey Marie Carnival Extra Large Pro Palette. And we're going to start off by taking... My goodness, if I can get this open. Start off by taking... Basic, which is... One of these shades somewhere. <laughs> I can't remember where they this one. I'm just going to take that on a Spectrum B06. And I was still using like brands, but we're going to get to the blue, right? It's, it's, trust me. <laughs> so I'm just going to, like I said, put that through the crease. I'm just going to further blend that out with a crown brush. So this is a C439. It's a Duo 501. Then from the palette, we're going to take Hall and Intuition, uh, both on the same brush. So this is the Sigma E36. It's clean. It's just stained from yellow. So I'm just going to take that, just like a mixture of them, and just... Put that through the crease as well, just in like little circular motions. And take it on the outer corner as well. Further blend that out with the crown brush again. Just going to go back into basic again, on that same BO6, and just pop that back through. So now we're going to cut the crease. So I'm going to take the Revolution Pro Full Camouflage Concealer. I'm only going to do probably just a little bit more than half. And I'm going to take that on a Peaches and Cream, I believe it's a PC51 brush. Yes, it is indeed. So I just like to take a bit of product, sit down on the lid, look up. And with our little blobbies, is where we're going to cut our crease to. And when we get to this bit, I'm going to sort of just. Drag the pack down, leaving just that little corner spare. So like I said, it's just a bit more than a half a cup. Just going to take that glittery, look how pretty this is, <laughs> flat brush that we took just to pat it out, the uh, eye base, and just going to sort of just lightly pat this out just to make sure it's nice and in there. And I'm just going to take my finger and just sort of pat over slightly so now we're going to take peppermint from the palette which is this shade here i know it looks greenish but to me it's quite blue i i don't know maybe it's just my vision but we're going to go on top with like a bluey glitter anyway so this is just a nice base to go down so i'm just going to take that on a spectrum I think it's an A16. It's wearing off a little bit. I shouldn't know the names by now, but I really don't. When getting to right to the top, I'm going to take the Real Techniques Fine Liner Brush just to really perfect the detail. It's just a really fine fine brush. So now we're just going to take that same Sigma um, E36 brush and just blend see the brown and the blue in so it doesn't look so choppy. Then I'm going to take the NYX Glitter Primer and just pop that over the Peppermint shade. I'm going to take that on a Peaches and Cream PC41 brush. You could probably leave it as this if you really wanted to because this shade is so beautiful. I feel like glitter is just going to really 
pop. Then I'm going to take this glitter. So this is glitter by Chelsea and Abby. I'll link their website below. They're like back now. They went away for a little while, but they're back. And I'm not too sure what the shade is. I'm pretty sure they started putting their names on the bottom there. But um, I'll link their website and hopefully I'll be able to find the shade. So I'm just going to take that on the same Peaches and Cream PC41 brush. So I'm going to finish off the other eye on camera and apply some lashes. So I'm going to take the Kiss Lash Couture. So these are in the style Val. I feel like they're just going to be super nice because where they go out. I just love that style of lash, I think. It just suits better. But yeah, I'm going to do that off camera, come back and then we'll move on to the base. So moving on to base, I'm going to take the Barium Nymph Radiant Serum Beauty Elixir. And I'm just going to take that onto an L stippling brush. I'm literally going to take drops onto the brush. And just put this over the face. So for foundation, I'm going to mix the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in Porcelain and then the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 120 because I have got a bit of self-tanner on and I don't self-tan my face just because it breaks me out so that's why my face is white and my neck is tanned. Then I'm just going to blend that out with the Tarty Beauty Blender Fall. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of 120 just put that in just because it's a little bit light then to highlight I'm going to take the Colourpop No Feel Concealer so I have Light 16 and Fair 08 so Light 16 is my more tan shade and then Fair 08 is my normal shade so I'm just going to take yeah Light 16 first So while we're letting that dry, I'm going to take the Nip and Fab Thick Stick Definition. So this is in Medium Sculpt. I'm just going to take it on the Blender Fall. So I'm just going to fold it up and just take a bit on here and just sort of put it into the skin. So we're just going to blend out this concealer as well. Oh, my foundation does not match my hands at all. Oh, my neck needs to be more golden. It's too pink. Now we're going to take the Cover FX Perfecting Setting Powder in Translucent Light. And basically what I've done is I've just flipped the sponge around so we can do the powder side with this. What I like to do is I like to just take quite a bit, just push it in, mainly on the under eyes in the T-zone. Okay, so I'm going to take the Physicians, <laughs> Physicians Formula Bar Bronzer. It's the Bar Bronzer. Uh, so this is in the shade bronzer. And I'm just going to take that on the Spectrum C07. I can't stand the smell of this. I know a lot of people love it, but it just to me it smells like self tanner. And I'm just going to take that around the perimeters of the face. Then for blush, I'm going to take the Benefit Gold Rush Blush. So this is just a little tester that I got, but... I mean, hardly used it, and yeah, I'm going to use it now. So I'm just going to take that on the same brush. I want to go in with highlight first. Ah, damn it, never mind. Then for highlighter, we're going to go back into the By Katie highlighter. I'm just going to take that on a crown brush, C529. Then on the Spectrum A12, I'm just going to pop a bit of that on the inner corners. So for setting sprays, I'm going to take the Revolution Hyaluronic Hydrating Essence Spray. I'm just going to take that all over. Then take some Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Now I'm just going to go back into the eyeshadow palette. I probably should have done setting spray after I've done my lower lash line, but we're here now. So now I'm going to take Hall and Intuition again on that same Sigma brush. And just push, or push, run that along the lower lash line. I do start I do try and stay on camera but it's a bit difficult. <laughs> Just gonna keep it quite close. <sighs> then on the Spectrum BO6 we're gonna take basic and just run that along as well. Then just gonna finish it up with some lower lash mascara and you're gonna see none of this, you're just gonna see it's my head. Then for lips I'm literally just gonna throw on a gloss. So this is the dose of colour gloss in on repeat. 
and then this is the completed look so i do love how it turned out i think it's gorgeous fyi the glitter has got bigger glitter particles in it so if you're really uncomfortable using glitter like that then don't but i think it's super beautiful and i'm not i don't know like i've just never been bothered by chunky ass glitter <laughs> i'm just like cut me <laughs> uh so yeah this is the end of the video uh i hope you enjoyed yeah